It seems like the second you start building a base in Sons of the Forest, you just get absolutely mobbed by mutants. I've seen so many comments of people saying that this is a problem, and in today's video, we're gonna fix that. Did you know that mutants actually can't swim? The second they get into water that you can't stand in, they drown instantly. But there's only one island on the entire map. This one right here. So I'm going to be showing you some advanced building tips, how to build a base extremely quickly using a, a, a little bit of maybe an exploit, but we'll show you how to do it without it too. Uh, but this is the only island that I have been able to find on the entire map, and it's near where you start the game, pretty much no matter where you start. Um, there's that big bay down that way, and uh, if you follow the river up, there is this location with a island right here. Uh, it's kind of in between all the markers where you need to find like the other people that kind of got stranded in this area. And what we're going to do is we're going to build an awesome base here, show you some advanced building tips and uh, some other tips and tricks as well. We got Kevin hanging out over there. Uh, essentially, we need to do two things. I believe this is going to freeze over in the winter, so we do want to create some protection in this area because the, the uh, mutants will be able to climb over here in the winter. But for now, we have tons of fl uh, flora and fauna around, so plenty of food sources, plenty of fish. It's a really good place to camp out to begin with. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is build a bridge from here to over there. Now, before we get into the bridge building, I'm going to show you a little trick. I made a whole video about this, so you can check it out if you want a little bit more details. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to get infinite logs for this, because it's just going to make our lives super easy. There's not a lot of trees on this island, and since we... I'll show you two different ways to get logs to this island, but this is the easiest, and as long as this still works, you'll be able to do it. Uh, you're going to put a log down on the ground like that, and then you're going to stick a stick under it. And all you got to do is just walk into it, and it'll duplicate. Unfortunately, it might glitch a little bit, so if you have it fall under the ground, um, we can put it kind of at like an angle here. You can try this spot. Some spots it'll fall under the ground, other spots it'll actually duplicate just like that. Pick up your stick and just keep repeating that process to get infinite logs on this island to build out your base. It's pretty freaking awesome. Now, if this infinite log thing is actually patched... Oh, she brought us a fish! I'm so freaking hungry, too. That's perfect. I'm gonna stick that in my pocket. Uh, you can have your companions just clear out logs in this area. Have them drop them pretty much at this location. And what you can do is if you go up to the water and toss the log into the water, it'll actually just end up going to the island. Um, so she just basically stack up your logs here, toss them over to the island, and you can get everything you need over there too. Now I've done a lot of testing here, and it seems like we need to build this bridge in exactly the right spot. Uh, because the rope needs to be long enough to be able to span for our rope bridge, which means we need to find the shortest possible gap that we can to be able to get to this bridge, because we can only make it so long. So to make our rope bridge, we're going to go one, two, three, four. We need it to be seven high to build this bridge, so we got to get seven logs. Now we're going to do something a little bit different on this side than we're going to do on the other side. We're actually going to make a little square here, because uh, we want to make sure that the mutants can't make it up. You want to go, bro? You want to go? Because these muddies will be around. There'll be uh, other mutants that'll go on this road. So what we need to do is we don't want to make stairs that lead up to this. We want to make a little gap so that they can't actually get onto our bridge. Now, if you've never made stairs before, we're just going to put one log like that, another one like this, and then we're going to build out our stairs. Now, you're probably going to want to put a little crossbeam up there, too. You don't need to. And when you go to put your logs down, you don't want the arrows to be like that. You want to hit the right button. So, well, actually, you want them like this. You don't want the arrows to be like this because that'll make a slope. If you want stairs, they need to be kind of going to the left and right like that. And you can click. It'll split the logs and make actual stairs. Now, once you've got your stairs complete, we need to go to the other side, so you got to swim to the island. And then we're going to build something that is going to be, I think you get to it under shelters. It's going to be the lookout tower, because the ropes aren't long enough to actually build another kind of platform. And this is the only object that can actually be put into the water. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it in the water, kind of like that. And then we got to build, <laughs> and we got to build it. <laughs> So we, we need to make sure that it's in the water far enough to, for us to be able to make our bridge, but also close enough for us to be able to place the logs onto it. This is where our um, kind of item duplication thing is going to come in really handy, because this thing is not cheap. Another really good trick for the log duplication glitch is if you do it like kind of to the side of you like this, 
and then you swoop it up, you can bump it and the log will bump out of the way and you can just do it really quickly. So you bump it from the edge like that, so the way the logs fall out of the way, you pick up your stick at the same time. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, don't hit yourself with the logs so you don't die. Once you have finally built that, the fun can begin. We're gonna actually build stairs on this side so it can be easy to get to and from that location. We're gonna build the stairs the same way we did before. So we're gonna put two little angles on the edge of this. We're gonna make sure that we have this facing the right direction so that we actually make stairs rather than a ramp. Although, if you want a ramp, you can make a ramp. Now we're gonna need two ropes and we have to take our rope and we're gonna point it to the, like kind of with this either one of the sides of the log. You'll notice that you'll be able to do one like right here and we need to get it all the way over to the other side. So we're just gonna jump into the water and swim right over. That sounds like we got some visitors coming. Thank you, Virginia. Uh, you might have to swim like all the way around, just a little bit of a pain. We can hop out of the water and we wanna make sure that we attach it on the other side of this. So right there. So we should have one rope across right now. And then we're going to need to do the same thing again. So we're going to attach another rope. And there we go. So now we can actually build our rope bridge. Now the side that you decide to start building your bridge on is completely up to you. You can make it a little bit easier to build from that side if you don't have the availability to do the log duplication glitch. Uh, but regardless, all we need to do now is just split logs all the way across. Now that we have our bridge done, we can get to the fun part, some advanced building, because we don't really have a lot of room here, and it's not necessarily the flattest ground, is it? So we're going to need to do some things to make this a buildable area. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually right click, and we're going to put one of these into the ground like that. And this is going to allow us to build kind of in the air. And depending on how high you want to build your base, we can chop this down to be able to build at a certain height. So I kind of want to build at maybe a half a log length. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to use this piece that we chopped off to kind of line out exactly where we want to put this. Why is there a fish just kind of doing its thing on land? I have no idea. I have not a clue. Now, this is going to pose a bit of a problem as well. I don't think we can fully destroy this. So we're going to have to build this in such a way that allows us to avoid this box. And I think the best way to do that is maybe by starting um, as close to this box as we can. So something like that. And then if we go out like this, we should be able to start building the base. And then what we can do, it's a really interesting process how this works. We can put one of these cross beams like that. I think that actually is gonna look pretty good. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that this is level, right? So we're gonna put a dangle down like that. <laughs> yeah, a dangle, I'm calling it a dangle. And then what we need to do is swoop it in like that. And it'll automatically cut that post down to the right level. Um, so this one might end up being junk. I don't think it's a half a log, but we can try and put it there. That might actually work. And essentially you can build this as big as you want. And we can put our log right there. And you can do the same thing for the edges when you want to go to uh, a different direction. And that way you can level out your base on uneven terrain. Making roofs, we need to make what's called a strut. And it's not immediately obvious how to do this, although it does explain it in the book. Uh, what we can do is we can chop one of these in half. And what you need to do is basically the span of the strut that you want to make, where you want to have your roof, so that way you don't have pillars all through your house, is you need to put your pillars in and then go all the way to the walls. And then you can pick up these half logs that we just made, and you kind of boink them into there, into the corners. And then once you have them slapped into the corners, then you can remove your central pillars and then use them for the rest of the house. Now, the only real downside to this base is once it's winter, the water will freeze over, which means uh, the cannibals, they'll be able to get to your base. But that only happens in winter. The rest of the seasons, uh, they won't be able to get to, which means you have plenty of time to actually build your base. You don't have to build like a big house in this game. You can pretty much put everything outside. You don't really even need a house to be fair in this location you could just build the bridge over and then just take all of your pillars that you're that you're getting 
and sticking them in the ground to make a nice big fence. And that's pretty much what I'm doing right now, what I'm focusing on. So to do that, all you gotta do is put the, the logs in the ground, then you take your axe and you look up at the logs, and you just give them a whole boink -a like that and make them all spiky. And if you have spiked walls, the cannibals cannot climb over it. And then what you can do is you can make little towers too if you need to, so that way you can shoot them from, um, basically if, they're, if they come to your walls and are attacking your walls, then you can shoot them from the air and things like that. It's gonna make your life super easy. Now, um, unfortunately, like the, the, ooh, see, like I said, they can get here in the winter, but that's the only time they can. I definitely recommend getting the mask as early as you can in the game, because it's definitely going to help. Oh my god, that guy has like guts on his face. Uh, as long as you're not aggressive to them and you have the mask on, the mask will actually scare them. Oh, unless Virginia starts clapping cheeks. Oh my god, she just shot one. Great. Well, aside from it being pretty cold now in the winter, we've done a pretty good job of getting our base built and uh, showing off how to actually get this island base going. I really like that you can build up above the ground, so you can really build anywhere. You don't need a perfectly flat spot. And I definitely don't recommend building like a, a crazy roof. A flat roof is good enough. Yeah, it's just a square building, but there's really no benefit to building like a nice pitched roof because honestly, it just takes a freaking long time and it doesn't even fully enclose <laughs> the build. It just doesn't work particularly well. Um, at least for now. But anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.